A Lebanese Australian who came to Australia as a child in the 1970s will fund university scholarships for refugees in Western Sydney. But he says the initiative has been overshadowed by comments from the Federal Minister Peter Dutton suggesting that the Fraser government's Lebanese immigration program was a mistake. Antoinette Latouf has this report. Talal Yassin and I have things in common. We're both the children of Lebanese refugees who were welcomed into Australia in the 1970s. When my parents came to Australia in, nine, in January of 1977, both without any education whatsoever in any language. Talal and his seven siblings, among them doctors, lawyers and teachers, are now giving back. The Yassine family, in partnership with Western Sydney University, will fund the education of 22 refugees starting next year. But he says this good news was dealt a blow. Citing 22 Lebanese Muslims who have been charged with terror-related offences, Immigration Minister Peter Dutton said the Fraser government did make mistakes by bringing some people into the country during the 1970s. I believe at best they are completely inappropriate and at worst a calculated endeavour to pick on a already vulnerable group. Prominent Lebanese Australian restaurateur Faisal Al Abad says it's unfair to be held accountable for the actions of less than 1% of his community. I get upset when I hear something like this. We have some bad people and every nationality they have good and bad people. Mr Dutton then said he was taken out of context and acknowledged that most Lebanese immigrants are good, law-abiding citizens. Now we've got particular problems uh, with foreign fighters and with uh, other criminal activity and we need to call that out. We, we have to have an honest debate. It was terrorism statistics that ignited this debate and a closer look at crime figures does show there's a significant problem in Sydney and Melbourne with Middle Eastern, Asian and now African gangs. But police experts say this isn't a new or unique experience in Australia's migration history. That's what happens when you have a young country that relies on Im an immigration population. To try and make out that this is a new phenomenon that has never existed before is simply not correct. The government's parliamentary inquiry into migrant settlement is calling for submissions. Antoinette Latouf, ABC News.